What is going on guys? This is Jesse here from Wobble Family Adventures. Well, we got a we're here at the house, got a bit of a situation here. Situation, let me correct that term. So I had to get a new trailer tire put on. Actually about three new trailer tires put on in the past couple weeks. Well anyway. So I go to the tire shop. They they put put them on, and, <clears throat> and I think it was um I think it was the last one I got put on. So I'm driving down the road today, the very next day after getting it put on, and uh, I got a tire wobbling. I think to myself, well, I got a bearing just went out. It was hot heat, kind of rough on bearings anyway, especially pulling big loads all the time. So I stop and uh, get out. Wasn't a bearing at all. No. Let me uh, show you what uh, what had happened here. So all my lugs, lug nuts were loose, and one of them has broke off. Now I've got another one. Lug nut and or look look the stud and the nut so i'll get all this stuff took off of it and um do a little video of me changing this out in case anybody ever needs to <clears throat> do something like this you can know you know how to do it but it is frustrating that they didn't tighten down my lug nuts very good and yeah. I'm going to want somebody down the road here. I right know. I don't use a jack on my trailer, on this trailer to uh, change stuff out on. I use the trailer itself. makes life a lot easier it makes changing spares so much or changing tires out so much easier let's take a couple of my blocks i put on my trailer <clears throat> you raise it on up the trick is to get this tire up enough where you can stick a couple blocks under it <clears throat> and then as you let it down it picks the back one up. Now, some trailers don't have that. Some trailers you do got to use a jack. So Brandy and the kids are in they're in Oklahoma. Back seat's a little bit of a mess, but it's a work truck. I do clean that thing out every weekend and reorganize it. But it's stuff like this that causes me to get it all messy again. So I got the old trusty D wall here. <clears throat> Take this tire off. Anyway. So changing the stud out can be relatively simple. Can also be relatively a pain too. Now here in a second I'll have to set the phone down. That one there's gonna be driven back driven back in. So anyway, I'm gonna get off here for a second and take this tire off. Alright. Alright, so I got the tire off. There's a stud that's broke off. I'm gonna try doing this without having to take that brake caliper off. It definitely saved me the hassle of having to do that. I'm currently sitting on the tire. So I don't really have a very good punch. So I actually don't have a punch at all. So I'm gonna use this big screwdriver here and that slow hammer and see if I can't knock that out of there. So let's see if I can prop you up right there. Let's see if I can't do this here.
There went. So, there you have it. So that's what that's what it looks like right now. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Anyway, that's just part of it. Sometimes stuff like this happens. You guys ain't paying attention and and then I wanna have to do this. So I'm gonna come behind it with the screwdriver. I might put the phone down again. So and I'm gonna try to tap this thing on just in just a little bit. Then I'll put my tire on there and then pull it on tight. Alright, so there you have it. It's in there. I couldn't quite tap it in, so what I did is I took this um lug nut here and I put it on and I just tightened it down until it just pulled it on out. So <clears throat> there there's 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 several ways you can do this. This is how I do it. Maybe easier ways of doing it, but anyway, but that's that's how you uh, that's how I change out a stud on the uh, on the trailer when uh, somebody when a tire shop don't tighten my lug nuts down all the way. And uh, so anyway, if uh, like this video, put a, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. And uh. Sorry, we ain't get no building video today. Just a little, little maintenance work. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna put this tire back on, tighten it back up, tilt this trailer back up, get them blocks out, and uh, go back and rest. All right, we're gonna walk back here and chicken our little chickies. No, so I was gonna go inside. And but I'm going to show you all the chicks. We had this coop over here. I'll tell you what, this thing was pretty heavy, y'all. I forgot how heavy this thing was. Oh. But they've been, <clears throat> as far as I know, they all been doing good. Yeah. So they all are. Just kind of hanging out in here. Some of them hanging out in the hole right there. Some of them in the little, little run there. But, uh, but yeah, they're doing good. I think my uh, my next animal I'm, I'm gonna try to get is a um, it's a Jersey cow. So I love milk. Okay, I drank about a gallon a day by myself. I know that's unhealthy. Shouldn't be done. But it's all right. So anyway, I'm going to get a Jersey cow and have fresh milk. My wife, she can make butter out of that milk. And uh, we got plenty of property here, plenty of grass for it to munch on. But anyway, I hope y'all like this video. I know it's not the norm. But uh, I just want to show you some of the stuff I got to do to the truck when stuff like that happens. So when you get your, uh, your vehicle worked on, vehicle trailer or whatever, be sure they torque your uh, your lug nuts. If not, you'll be out there in that hot heat working on something like that right there. So anyway, we'll catch you on the next adventure.